Hi everybody, it's JoJo. Um, my shirt came. <laughs> Look, my shirt came. It says clueless with share with the shopping bags and it says you think that's all I do. I'm just a ditz with a credit card. <laughs> okay, so this is actually going to be um, my top five favorite movies of all time. So I'm going to do a favorite romance films of all time for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to do this first. Um, you can probably all tell what my number one is, obviously, but um, I'm going to definitely, you know, you have to guess what the other four are. Um, yeah, so while I'm filming this as we speak, um, some shit's going down, um, at the, uh, somewhere in D.C., like, there's Trump supporters are rioting. I call them Republicans, or Republicans. <laughs> That's what I call them. They're crazy. Um, yeah, they're... Because we won supremacy or something, and the Democrats won, so now they're protesting. It's, it's complete insanity. Anyways, um, okay, so now for my fifth favorite film. Okay, so I was torn between two for my fifth favorite film. So actually the fifth one um, is going to be... Should I do a tie? I don't know. No, I'm just going to decide right now. Okay, so my fifth favorite movie of all time is Crossroads with Britney Spears. Um, I love Crossroads. Let me put on some coconut mint drop, girl. This is what I'm currently using right now. I already finished the Vanilla Bean Noel. You already saw my other videos. They were like at the very bottom, girl. So, um, okay. So Crossroads with Britney Spears. Okay, so I love this film so much. Um, now when singers, famous singers decide they want to act, Sometimes it's a hit or miss, you know, like what we saw with Beyonce and Obsessed, um, which I did like that movie too. But we saw with Beyonce and Obsessed and she was all right in the movie, you know. Um, I did like the movie, but you know, she's not the best actress. Um, people love Lady Gaga in um, A Star Is Born. I haven't even seen that one yet. But Britney Spears really gave it to me in the movie. Like I really think she gave it to me. Like, I, she was a good actress. I don't think that she was gonna be the next Julia Roberts, but I mean, she definitely did her thing in the movie. I really I give her props. Um, and I love the movie. I thought it was an amazing movie. I loved how they they took Britney Spears. They gave her these two girlfriends, these two friends. They went on a cross-country road trip with this strange guy. They all think he's a mass murderer, but he really isn't. And um, they're going cross-country because... Um, one of the friends wants to, um, go to L.A. And then Brittany wants to meet her mother in another state because the mother abandoned her when she was little. And all her songs are played throughout the movie. I think the album, there was her third album when the movie came out. She made the third album uh, around, um, this movie. I think it was the I'm a Slave For You uh, CD. But I, I'm a Slave For You was the only song, I think, off the CD that was not in, in the film. Um, all the other songs were pretty much in the film. Um, yeah, so Fifth is definitely Crossroads. Um, it was the only movie she ever did. Um, she did a good job. Number four is one that's not so popular, but I love it. It's called Matchstick Man. It's with Nicolas Cage. And it's about, um, <laughs> it's about the, I'm not going to ruin the movie because there's a huge twist at the end. If you have not seen the movie yet, it's really good. Um, Nicolas Cage is this, um, ADHD per person who, um, what's the word? Who, who just says impulsive things. You know, he needs to take medication for it. But his day job, he's a con artist. So he cons people for money. And he has his friend that, that cons with him. And um, he meets his daughter, who he didn't know he had. His daughter shows up at his doorstep and he um, realizes he has a daughter. And um, the movie progresses from there. But it's really, really good. There's a huge twist at the end. It's a really good twist at the end of the movie. It's like one of the best twists ever. I love Matchstick Man. Um, I saw that one in the theater. Crosswords I didn't see in the theater. Crosswords I, I saw it on pay-per-view. 
I, I, I did, okay, so I was seeing another movie when Crosswords were out, and then I went, I snuck into the movie theater to see Crosswords for a second, um, but I didn't really watch Stay for the whole movie because I couldn't, you know, it wasn't the movie that I was, I paid for. Okay, so number three is Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams. Mrs. Doubtfire, the most funniest damn movie I think I ever watched in my life. I still laugh to this day. The whole, the whole movie is hysterical. It's about Robin Williams. He gets a divorce from his wife, but he only gets to see his kids every other weekend. And so he decides to play the nanny and disguise himself as this old woman so he gets to see his kids. Um, every day and it's just so funny I'm telling you it is so funny it's with Sally Field I love Sally Field it's with um Pierce Brosnan Ugh, it's seriously a good good movie like I'm telling you like it is beyond beyond it's so good like so funny um I think my favorite scene <laughs> is when she's when he when, when he's Mrs. Doubtfire in the kitchen and the woman comes over to um, see his progression, you know, how he's progressing as a father or whatever. And um, he's busy. He's still in the Mrs. Doubtfire outfit. And she notices him in the Mrs. Doubtfire outfit. So she's playing along and be like, oh, it's just his sister. So he's pretending to be Mrs. Doubtfire with her. And it's so fucking funny. He's in the kitchen. He puts his face in the pie. Oh, it was hilarious. Anyways, number two is Edward Scissorhands with Johnny Depp. It is my favorite uh, Tim Burton film ever. Like, I love Night Before Christmas. I love the Batman films with Batman Begins. I mean, not Batman Begins. Batman Returns and the regular Batman. But Edward Scissorhands was just beyond. And it came out the year I was born, 1990. It was so good. Like, I can't even believe it. So, it's about this inventor who makes this person, but he's not fully developed yet. He still has to have, he still hasn't, he's, they made, he, he the, the inventor made him have scissor hands as hands, but he was developing actual hands for him to have, but, um, he died before he could finish, finish him. Um, but he decides, to, he's discovered by this woman in the suburban family, um, and she brings him home with, with her, and, um, he's, de he's just coping or with with just a normal family the suburban family and he's this freak you know he has this black leather suit on he has these scissor hands he's pale white as a ghost and um it's just a really cool movie it's really really cool i love it renona Ryder is like his love interest it's just really nice so number one as you all know so my shirt clueless with Alicia Silverstone. I had the biggest girl crush on Alicia Silverstone. I've never had a girl crush like I have it on with Alicia Silverstone. I watched it on pay-per-view. So it came out in 1995 or 1994. Bitch, I should know this. It was 95. Girl. It was on pay-per-view. It came out on pay-per-view. When did it come out on pay-per-view? I think it must have came out on pay-per-view, what, the end of 1994? Five or the beginning of 1996 I don't remember no uh, if if I'm if I'm wrong and this movie came out 94 995 I'm gonna hit myself right now let me check real quick because I should really know this because I must have seen this movie a million times 1995 okay I was right I knew it. I knew it I knew it okay so it came out one night in the summer of 95, or again, in the summer of 95, in July 19, 1995. So probably I saw it on pay-per-view one, the beginning of 1996. So that was that, and I couldn't, I, I knew it. Right when I, why when I, re I remember I was, what, five years old? I read the info for this movie, and I knew right away at five years old that this was going to be my fucking shit. <laughs> like, this was going to be my movie. Um, so, it, and it was. It, it's like my favorite like, I just love Alicia Silverstone in that movie. Like, that was her ride or die film. Like, like she did that in that movie. I'll tell you that much. Like, she was that girl in that movie. Um, 
I love just everything about her character. I love everything about the movie. I love the comedy. I love the fashion. I loved the humor. I loved the romance. I just loved the 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 slang. I loved everything. And I just recently found out, which I know I'm late to the game, but uh, the TV show, it had a TV series. And um, a lot of people from the movie took part in the series, but Paul Rudd, Elisa Silverstone, and Brittany Murphy, however, Brittany Murphy and Paul Rudd did guest star in one episode each in, in the show. Elisa Silverstone, I don't think, ever guest starred on the show. The show is a, a little bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. I'm not minding it, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. But it's it's a little bit of a mess. That's why I think it's been under wraps and no one really knows about it because it's really not, like, that good, really. But I'm watching it because, again, it's it's in the realm of Clueless. Um, it really doesn't take part. It, it's really its own thing. Like, it really has nothing to do with the movie. I mean, it's based on the movie, but, like, it's like the movie never existed because she never made over that girl, Ty. She's still... She, she's not with her... her, her the Paul Rudd character... Um, so it's like the movie never existed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know everyone hates that Stacey Dash girl now. Everyone hates her. Goodness. She was, she is a pretty girl. I'll give her that. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, really, really good, uh, movie and a TV series was a little bit of a flop, but, um, listen, the one who plays Cher in the, the TV series, she looks just like Alicia Silverstone. However, she doesn't do the part as good as Alicia Silverstone did. Um, it's just what it is, but um, the movie is a classic, and um, it's never going to go out of style. It really won't. Anyways, that is my top five favorite movies of all time. Let me know what yours are Yours are down in the description. So I'm going to actually do a favorite Valentine's Day romance movie, not Valentine's Day, romance movies for Valentine's Day soon, not today, but in the, sometime in the future. I don't know if I'm going to do a top five or a top ten. I'm probably going to do a top five, to be honest with you, um, and that's that, um, but yeah. You guys know, like, my previous videos I filmed, I had another top on because I was waiting for the shirt to arrive, and it finally arrived, and I posted pictures on Instagram and stuff, so it's on my Instagram. Um, yeah. I'm not going to do it out for the day because I didn't really go out or do anything today, so I just have on, like, blue jeans, slippers, and, and this shirt. I love this shirt. By the way, I got it at Urban Outfitters, if you were wondering. Michael Julian Rios commented on the photo. Um, I replied, but then I deleted that photo and I uploaded another photo. So I don't know if you saw the comment, but is it, if you didn't, I got it at Urban Outfitters, Michael. <laughs> but if you did, then you know already that I got it at Urban Outfitters. I got it at the men's side. That's what I forgot to say in the comment. I forgot it. I got it at the men's side. It's not the women's, it's men's. Of course, it looks unisex, but um, I got it on the men's side. It's, it's in the men's section. And, um, I got it in a size small. Um, yeah. So, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.